you sort of think nobody should win it that easily. But you know, <laughs> he you know he, he did. He played really well. And he, I think the the best measure of that that weekend was his composure. Really, throughout the situations he was going through, you know, he still kept playing really well, kept a good consistent level. But they say he's a good player. If he can do that, then I mean, if he get the chances, he can take them. You know, as well as anybody. Um, so you know, I don't wouldn't be surprised if it's sort of a platform for him to to build on now. You know, and it's a say great to see him to do well as well. Yeah, up against Steve Smart, which is. I mean, not the kindest of first round draws for Luke Gill, but Steve, a very, very good player. And he gets first go in frame number one as well. Yeah, it's a lovely chance, it's just his shot coming down. Has he got enough angle to get down in between the yellows? He doesn't necessarily have to get down, he could just drop it in and top, pop one and come back behind the other one, but he's done down his own. Just got into it a bit too much. That's the table catching him out. Well, I wanted to ask you about the table because obviously you you have just played out there. You c couldn't be the better person to ask, really. Table brand new, recovering, and all the rest yeah. of it. it. It looks super slick and slidey yeah, out there. Yeah, very. Yeah, I, was, I did feel like I was chasing the cue ball a little bit around the table, um, but yeah, it played nice. You know, if you can start playing well on that table, it gives you a really big advantage. You could play some really good stuff as well. It yeah, there was a couple of shots that you played. There was one where you went almost sort of, let's see, Ian Alley in the house back in Steve Smart. There was a shot you played um, towards the end of the match where you almost went sort of coast to coast from the side cushion to the other side cushion, stunning off and then back up. Yeah. And Dave McNamara was on comms and he was, was sort of saying those are the shots that you can really only play on this table yeah. because of how much reaction you get. Yeah, that's right. There is... Um, but when you can learn that and feel that, it sort of opens the table up in a way, you know, to how you clear up and you feel like the clearance is always on. You're having to go because you can punch the balls and they travel a long way, you know, so the balls are nice and new, slick cloth. Um, when you're trying to get across the table, it can make it a little bit easier. So this is an important shot here. From, oh, I think he could have maybe just floated that, but he uh, tried to stun it, stun it round. So lightning Luke Gilbert gets his first go in the match and it comes in frame one after Steve Smart breaks down. You'll be delighted to know, John, that everyone on Facebook was very nice about you. Oh, I'm sure. They were. Bully. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, I, I, I say on a, on a Wednesday, I do kids coaching. Um, so, you know, I'm really for the kids trying to play the game, improve the game. And so... You know, when, when when I told him on Wednesday that I was playing, is he 14? 16. 16, 16. I was playing a 16 year old going, oh, I hope they get beat by a kid then. <laughs> that would give me a bit of stick. But, um, you know, I said, well, I said he's a really good player, so if he beats me, it doesn't matter how old he is, does it? So. It's a good hit from Steve. It's left Luca a good chance now. It's just the, the eight ball. He's going to have to manoeuvre the white ball cue to get on. I don't know if he can move that red that's near the middle pocket. He doesn't need to. So the, the black does go into several other pockets. So And there's a fairly decent area behind it to come short on the black. If he leaves the yellow in middle even till last. These first few clearances is just about sort of getting the pace of the table, bounce of the cushions. What was it? Was there a title for the for the match? Did you a title? Well, I don't know if there's some title to be talking about age. <laughs> I'm actually not talking about how old I am. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that to you, mate. Of course not. <laughs> I didn't even look now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was it was sort of build on there on Facebook as uh, you know, young star versus legend of the game. Oh right, yeah. I think, I think you were called. So uh, well wow. done on that. Yeah, it's a nice one. Yeah, got typo. Me. Got <laughs> 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 Can't beat Cy with a typo. <laughs> Luke's got a little bit of a shot to play here. Eight ball is a little bit locked up, so just needs to manage it. Just look at some interesting results in the. Uh, oh, that's just the side just killed the cue ball for bottom cushion there. I'll tell you what though, he's playing the double, moving the red out the pocket. Black goes in the same pocket. That's what he's looking at. 
Yeah, you played a similar shot towards the end of your match, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Very, very tidy little yeah. little pattern play. I, I just didn't want to take the risk of playing the cannon. You know, I thought if I take the cannon on, I don't know what's going to happen. You know, and I don't like. I'm trying to play this cannon because I'm not. I'm not a part of Team Blessed, so I can't get away from quite so well. No, oh, Team Blessed is Team Stressed right now. <laughs> that's that's not worked out at all. For Luke you've, Gilbert. you've had that setup, haven't you? <laughs> I've, I've got loads, mate. <laughs> don't you worry. Yeah, I mean, that'd be frustrating. I mean, this is where the format of the longer race can kind of help. Like, Luke, he can think, yeah, I've made a mistake. I've got a chance. You know, I'm going to get a chance to redeem myself. Over well, the well yeah, exactly. And, you know, the matches are not won in these early goings. No. You know, especially but with two players out there who, you know, you'd think uh, experienced enough to sort of deal with the kind of the pressure and all the rest of it yeah. I mean psychologically though early on especially for Steve it, these frames will be really important you know to try and get him to settle down right, let's see how Luke's breaking oh, that's yeah, he's such a right good there. break goodness me yeah, he's got kicked a bit aside on it that's probably he would have loved that eight ball to have gone down there's a golden break no, but it would have oh, cleared the okay. pocket. Shoot. It's now actually yeah, a bit of a problem for him. Yeah. I know, yeah. but you love a golden break. I was <laughs> thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I think had... you'd have loved it more than Luke. <laughs> no, absolutely not. There's uh, there's times and places for yeah, it. Yeah, hundred percent. But I tell you what, for for how good a break that is, this looks like a horrible leave. Yeah, I think I don't know if you'd prefer red because the red on the rail would it sneak past the black and just nudge the black out of the way? Maybe the yellow would do it. Looks a bit tight yeah, for that. The yellow does it. On on this new cloth though, I think it could slide in if he gets it in the right spot. And uh, he's just hit the black first. Oh, he's, has he had a nice leave? Well, if that's touching it, isn't nice because he can pot the yellow. And he might be able to get the cue ball behind there. I think. He, th Is I it think touching? It's difficult to say. I'm just trying to figure out if the. Uh, if the red and yellow are no, no he's not. I thought the yellow might be the red might be closer to the to the cue ball than the yellow, he's in which case he could brush off just played, like that. that he can do well it though. off yeah. the one he was closest yeah, yeah. to. He has played that very well. If Luke can flick the yellow by the middle pocket, he needs to make sure he hits a cushion out. Yeah, oh, it's a nice thick contact. So. Makes a big difference, that does. Yeah, he's left a pretty good cue ball as well. Yeah, very good. He will be very happy with that leave. I'm surprised he actually played it so hard because leaving the cue ball there was always a good shout. And uh, Steve just nudges the red on top of the yellow. And the right hand cushion already go long, top left. If he gets the ball top left, he can go game. Looks a bit wide. It is, yeah. Well, the Cuba's not bad. The way that Steve Smart qualified for the British Open yep. is he was the Welsh Open champion. Oh, wow. of Ultimate Paul Wales. The yes. only bail in the final. It was a good field yeah. there. Other players involved be, included yeah. Ryan Lambert, Cole Bedford, Matt Cook, Scott Yardley. Wow. That is a. Uh, Scott Pope, Shane Thompson. Andy Williams, plenty of really, really good players, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it just just shows the level that, that Steve Smart is, yeah, is sort of at. Yeah, what he's had to come through to get here as well. Is, uh, I think Luke's a bit disappointed if Black's tied up there, but I think, to be honest, after his last shot, he should be pretty pleased at the opportunity he's got because the ball's just laid out quite nicely for him and didn't give Steve many options. Or is he flying into them here? He's, he's yeah, he could just could he roll it and just tap the black or he's gonna hit hit him hit try and move the two reds. Just try to move the two reds. Needs a bit of luck. Oh. The risk playing that yeah. shot is that he did yeah. need a little bit of luck. Just take so much control out of out of the shot. But to be fair, Luke normally comes up smelling at roses in them situations. He does. <laughs> I've practiced with him and I've seen it many a times. So he's look is he looking at the up and down yeah. here? No, side cushion, yeah, this is a... Oh, he's changed his mind, yeah, okay. He'll fancy his chances here. What's well, he going, up, up three cushions? We yeah, had look at all options. It looks like yeah, top cushion, bottom cushion, 
Here's the yeah, way. Yeah. Oh, it's close. Oh, what an effort. <sighs> it was a great, it was great, a great effort. effort. Yeah. I mean, that would have been the most Luke Kilpert shot you've ever seen. Yeah, that would have been, and he would have loved it as well. Because ah, he, would have, to, he, he would have known Steve would have been, <laughs> his head would have been rattled in, a, in his chair. But, um, yeah, he has done it many a time, Luke, so it wouldn't be a massive surprise if he gets them. Steve's... I wasn't sure about that shot because he didn't need to play it. The balls all went, and he's he's still okay. But well, I'm, I'm balls... glad you I'm glad you've said that, John, because I did give you the uh, the big build up on commentary not oh, that long no. ago, where I, I said, you know, you you're from a you're from a sort a certain generation yeah. of the game where you just do not play cannons whatsoever unless you have to. Yeah, you, I mean, part of it's because you see the amount of things that can go wrong on a cannon, and. Uh, it's always nice if you've got that cue ball under control to just put it around the table where you like it. And uh, obviously, the nicest clearances are when your opponent's got balls all over the table and you manage to sort of pick off your balls all the way around and not move one of their balls and clear up. And you sort of come away from the clearance thinking, I feel good, that was a good clearance, you know? No, I, I agree. Yeah, I know. You've been there. <laughs> 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 but yeah, the cannons are, uh, especially in that situation, I think. Oh, I thought that was going to count enough. Um, especially in that situation, it, it really was, you know, there was nothing in the way. <coughs> but sometimes when you're probably feeling a bit nervy or settling down, you play a cannon just to try to make the clearance a little bit easier for yourself. That's nice for skill there. Doesn't want to land straight on the bottom cushion, so it needs a bounce. That's perfect. Come out for one in the middle. Left centre, right centre. Is he on the Challenger? This oh, he's got Challenger top on, isn't he? Yeah. He does. Yeah, yeah. he's on the Challenger series. He didn't have the greatest of first weekends, actually. Steve Smart. A couple of early-ish exits, but uh, yeah, c certainly a player who will be fancying making the step up to the pros. Yeah, he looks very solid in his queuing. I suppose each year with the challenge we get to see new players trying to battle it out and sort of have, as all the better players sort of become pro or get up there you know all the names and then you see other names you know we get to learn other names that we didn't know yeah <laughs> um, no there's, there's none that jump off the page because I do think it's just too it's just too open a format and it's yeah. so difficult but there's there's definitely players who've, who've shown they can mix it with there's the big boys there's a young one isn't there Jaden is it yeah Jaden Billingham, Billingham's he won in, his it, first game as well yeah um, there's there's plenty of uh, of Moroccans here this weekend as well, and you know, just just worth keeping an eye on. There'll, there'll, be, there'll be certainly some that sort of come round three. You're looking and they go, oh, they're having a bit of yeah. a, they're having a good run. Yeah, definitely. And they they become the ones you want to avoid, really, because uh, they can be very dangerous. Yeah, absolutely. And these reds are not the not the nicest for Luke here. Yeah? Is he going to go or... There's not many safety options. You could just put it near the pocket and go back and this with the No, he's going. I felt like he was forcing himself into that a little bit. Did they land as a plant at the top? Just mess the balls up a little bit here. Steve's not got an obvious shot. He'd like to break the two yellows out as well. Get this yellow off the bottom cushion. That's a nice shot. But break, breaking two yellows out possibly does leave an option for Luke there. Yeah, I think he was maybe trying to just flick that, flick that yellow because that would have been a good shot breaking the yellows out. Two reds on the bottom rail. They are frozen together, so they, they don't go. And Luke will be playing a similar sort. He want to develop them two reds on the bottom bottom cushion without putting too many balls. Will he knock the red on that's closest to the two yellows? Is he potting? He's potting. Maybe just nudge these two apart. Where's he leave though? Mm. Yeah, it's that's not bad. Yeah, it's just. 
these are the interesting parts of the these rules. You know, you're just trying to develop your balls because you know that a lot a foul shot doesn't actually help you that a great deal because you've still got to break them up and you don't get the free shot to do anything with them. Always got to be moving forward. Yep, exactly. I didn't know if he'd go off the two yellows and nudge Luke's red right across to the top left. He's going straight at him. Only downside, I don't think Luke will be particularly bothered no. that Steve Smart has potted the ball there. No, I think he could have maybe played off the two yellows in, in near the break line and kicked the red across to the left near the black just to keep one of Luke's balls tied up and his balls open. He might have left Luke an attacking option, possibly, but it would have been a bit of a risky one. Well, yellows are smelly here. Yeah, they are. this is an important shot here. And if, if you can get the cue ball back, it, the yellow back in front of the cue ball... Even if he just makes Luke play the red near the two yellows down the bottom here. Yeah. Because really the reds... Yeah, it's a tricky little shot on this table, it's so quick. He didn't want to open up the black though. All the reds do go. Yeah, Luke in his experience and his knowledge of this rule set yeah. is fully aware that he's just taking his time. Gradually working his way through. I'm not sure what shot he's playing here. I don't know if he just nudged the red on, but that red in next to the two yellows does go, so I wouldn't really want to move that because they uh, play bottom right. Yeah, Steve's definitely not out of this frame here. Definitely not. That that red with them two yellows. Luke, Luke stays down the table. He can can hide a few shots from Luke. He's tried to get back near to the side to kick off the cushion. Oh, nearly. You just see, he needed another couple of inches on that. It's not bad. It's blocked the double as well on the black to the top right. Does double right centre if Luke gets to that point where he can't develop the black bit of cat and mouse here Luke's uh, I'd say Luke's the favourite but I just feel like one good shot from Steve but Steve's definitely got the better options for the snooker oh he's tried it again he hasn't quite not worked out for him no but you know Luke's got some work to do to get these he's not going he's not going at all if that goes in he might have to go and now yeah he can, he's going to be just leaving that red and right centre low on it get at the table maybe move the may try to move the black or he might just try to top past the black depends on the angle he leaves on the red hitting into the black doesn't really doesn't necessarily guarantee him and the harder he has to hit it the more the cube is going to arc and the middle knuckle might come into play as well yeah the middle yeah he might just hit just before the middle Oh, he's looking at after. Yeah, he's looking at after, but the harder he hits this, the closer he's going to get to that middle, so depending on how he wants to hit the black. There you go. I should be a commentator. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, it's interesting. He, yeah. he missed this on the thin yeah, side did, as well. Yeah, I, I say the hard... Because of the pace he played it at as well, it's not no guarantee to, to be on that, that black as well. May have left himself a skill shot or just nudge the yellow slightly, but... Steve's going here. I'm not sure that was the right option because he could get an easy snooker with the three yellows at the bottom of the table. Yeah, he had options, and, and didn't he? It's perfect because he can hit the bottom yellow and develop the other two while getting the snooker, leave the black tied up. He could still play it if he really wanted to, but it's just not the best of queuing. Yeah, he's seen the shot now and I bet he wishes he'd see it, see it last shot, to be honest. He's got to play it. It's a lot harder now. And that yellow's going to save him. Is it? There's a gap. Mm, it's close. 
Yeah, you, Maybe you, a little swerve. Yeah, he's just digging down, so he's got to swerve it slightly. Good, great. Oh, what an effort fight. that is. Lovely, young, lovely effort. That's such a tough shot, and he's gone very close with it. Yeah, I think the key to that shot is not hit it too hard. Give the cubicle a chance to, to grip the cloth. Oh, wow, well, like this could be a massive let off for Luke. Yeah, you don't expect misses there. Yeah, that's a, it's definitely a poor one from Steve. He's got a good chance to move the blackout now. I wasn't... Didn't know if he just settled for a double there. He's, he's, say he's been a bit fortunate to be on this, but he'd, he was literally guaranteed a shot no matter what he did. I just thought he might have left himself on the double, but down the line, he's got to fancy this really. Yeah, yeah nicely played. Yeah, he's oh, complete miss it on the break there for Luke. Yeah, sometimes the best breaks. Yeah, come up smelling the roses. You had a couple of those. Yep. Cannot be too choosy sometimes. No, definitely not. You just be having a I mean, chance. <laughs> he'll be thinking, I hit one like a dream earlier, and they came yeah. out horrendous. I spent a whole Monday night doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you did. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so now I'm just like, whatever happens, happens, you know. Sometimes it's just your day, isn't it? And uh, it works. It's a good opening shot from Luke. That should, in theory, be his hardest shot, yeah, I think. I thought he might have gone for the cut back on the yellow. But, um... Well, just a couple of results that I'd like to bring to attention. Uh... Declan Brennan winning a Hill Hill decider against oh. Govy Gill. Oh, that's what I'm looking forward to seeing some of them yeah. this weekend. Yeah, Early Bale know. also getting a Hill Hill deciding win. He got one over Jack Dady. Uh, Tom Jones, Declan and O'Callaghan have been at war for a while. That's 7 6 to Tom Jones. I think it'd be quite a quick game, wouldn't you, with Tom playing? Yeah. <laughs> so 7 6 is the lead that Carl Russell has over Jess Graham. Uh, Matt Cook is 9 6 down to Jamie Fay. Jamie on the hill there. Scott Gillespie 4 3 up on Ricky Jones. The Castle, Clayton Castaldi, the world champion, is 9 6 up. He's on the hill against Bushaib Farhat. The Moroccan. Amy Beecham is 2 0 up on Dominic Clemens. Sean Chipperfield already 5 1 up against Jamie Clements. Neil Rayburn and Joseph Sison have just gone on. And so too is Chris Melling. He's 1 0 up on Andrew Lewis. Final window of games approaching in the uh, two thirty section of the draw, and the winners round one is just sort of starting Ooh, to take shape. As I say I that, wasn't expecting that. Well, you and me both. Yeah, this is the way Luke cues you. Just anything like that is just right up his street. That shot. That's a definite. Uh, when you won't see very often. Yeah, it could be a confidence play. booster for Steve Smart. Yeah, and in saying that, he's played a poor shot there, really. Yeah, he's could have gone short yeah. or long there. Yeah. Uh, and now he's uh, he's going to get top towards the towards corner pocket. It didn't follow through too great there. It just seemed to have got a kick on it. Now he's got to be careful of the yellow at the top. I think he misses it, but he doesn't want to f flick off it because he wants to stay on the yellow to right centre. Yeah, played it confidently, that was a good shot. Now we can leave that yellow to right centre to our last ball, get nice and close to the black. You can see he's a player that wants to sort of hit the ball a bit firmer as well. So if he can get himself queuing, even on them shots where you don't have to hit them hard. You know, you, if you watch a player hitting them, punching them, you can tell they're just a bit more confident. It's black, we'll put them on to the three. Yeah, three one, Steve Smart. So just after Luke Gilbert got himself into the match. 100% legit team. Well, th that's the thing. Of yeah. course it is. Yeah, I don't think there's any sort of question towards that. 
but it's it's it's, it's more. It looks like the sort of the United States basketball team in <laughs> the Olympics. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> if we all play well, we're going to take some stopping without a doubt. But one frame format is, you know, as you know, it, you can see some messy, messy pool in that yeah. in that format. And no matter how good you are, I don't care what you say. No matter how good you are, all the best players have their moments. You know. On, on that one frame format it's uh i've seen all of them make the, the mistakes some that you don't expect and uh, a lot of pressure out there at, at county pool but it's um exciting definitely exciting well team format you've seen what it's like haven't you it's uh, oh i love it yeah yeah it's the one yeah it's a definite are they i think there's a is there a county shootout again this year there is yeah you're gonna get yourself in the cambridge side well i don't, I don't know if we we didn't we finished second in the league so um we had a bad start to the year, so hopefully uh, if there's any way of getting in it, we'll get in it, but <laughs> I'll have to uh, put a few strings to get in the team, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I own the club. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know how I manage it, but and, uh, I had quite a big break from County, and it's uh, coming back to it. Obviously, it's at the club, so I kind of want to want to play, really, and with the likes of Dom and Luke playing... You, you want to be involved, you know, Phil as well. Lewis, the chance to play, yeah, Lewis. Scott, like, there's just yeah, the player to, after player. The chance to play with them all is, you know, you don't really want to miss it. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's really good. And uh, hopefully we've got hopefully we've got a couple of years together, you know, where uh, we all still want to keep keep playing together. Yeah, the dream team. Yeah, hopefully. He's took these out nicely. He's, he's looking a bit more confident. Is he on this? This is close. Oh, it's just... It's a grimace. Yeah, the grimace, that's it. He's not happy himself. He needed... I mean, it's a bit of a poor shot, really, because if he's nearly on it there, it shows how much room he's possibly got to the bottom of the cushion to be on it. If he's playing cushion first, he isn't going to stay on the black. He's, and if he swerves it, he might not stay on the black. So this this could be a... Oh, I think even if he pots this, he's going to struggle to stay on the black. He's going very wide and could bring it in with side. Yeah, that was tough. Oh, that's, that's big. Luke's got... He could play the shot here. Get, he could get on that yellow or pop the red. Screw over. He's going to get on it. Yeah, that's the that's better option, I feel. It's not great, so he might come back to it. Because that could be the last ball. It wouldn't matter if that's the last ball. He's going to take it on. Good shot. All right, that's it now. You just pick your points where you where you want the cue ball to finish up for your next shot. Oh, I don't feel he need to play that shot, but he, he's on a ball, and he should be uh, elementary now. Mm. He took a little bit of a risk on that last shot. Oh, I think he's got some new shoes, Gilbo. Really? Yeah. A pro series oh. money. Yeah. <laughs> Paolo Nottini's rocked out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, sure he had some very shiny ones. He did, yeah. Year. Sort of like school shoes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, kind of, yeah. <laughs> they probably were. Yeah, looks like he's got uh, yeah, quite the heel on them. Yeah. <laughs> Still find them. <laughs> Let off there. He's Luke, if Luke could be down in this match, but he's still in it. He genuinely yeah, could be five nil down. Could be five nil. Yeah. And I might. I'm just going to do a bit of research. All right, you, you come yeah. back to me, mate. Yeah. yeah. Well, Luke back from his uh, back from his comfort break, breaking off quite nicely and coming up dry. Not changing his fortunes any. Pretty good break that as well from Lightning. Yeah, I'm struggling to uh, get that. I'm sure you'll know when I do find it. I'll, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't don't you worry, mate. It, 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 it's not. It's Who, not is that it, what round are they up to? I so it's like a know. tournament format, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. I've not been. I've not been an avid 
viewer. I'm not sort of setting my watch by it, but uh, it's uh, yeah. it's been, it's been good fun. Yeah, it is, yeah. Players all getting involved, which is nice. So what watch? What's happened with it then? It's just a bit of fun. Yeah. Do, who decides? No ranking points. Don't get excited. Oh damn it! Prize money. <laughs> <laughs> Designer of the year. Yours is uh, quite muted this year. I, th I thought, John. Yeah, I, I quite just taking um, some colour out of it. Yeah, well, I've got a couple of diff basically just different colours, and I didn't want to. Uh, I just, uh, I don't know really. I, I see a couple of the designs of the shirts. Thought, oh, that's quite a nice design. I will just keep it simple. I was going to go plain black, to be honest, but I just thought bit different I've got a few different shirts different colours as well so they all stay keep the same same pattern just different colours okay and uh, didn't go too too overboard of it I've quite got, quite muted yeah I've got and I've got my other shirts at home I keep them so wash a car of them or something <laughs> <laughs> I'll get an actual use eventually <laughs> no, Steve another good chance here I don't know if it'll be building up on him the chances missed but well, the thing is it, it I think it's difficult it. for it to weigh on your mind when you're still winning frames and have got yeah, a comfortable he lead just, he's part that a little bit thick there I think he needs to put that thin he's cute this makes it a little bit more awkward it's black good shot modern. yeah cute it well heart of the pocket for Steve Smart yeah it was such a funny moment and uh, Christy you know the character here just took it in his stride and he, after he's like what the hell's just happened there absolutely brilliant <laughs> it was it was so funny but, he, you know, that's why I think when you know Christie's character, that shirt sort of, you know, really suits him so well. And, uh, yeah, so I think Christie's is uh, one of the better ones. But Steve, uh, did he cut break the other breaks? I can't remember him cutting yep. break. Yeah, he did, yeah. Never mind. I think young Charlie was cut breaking against me and pot, pot him well. He, he was him. flying on that yeah, cut break. Yeah, quite, quite a few. Do you know what? I thought he was actually a little bit unlucky quite a few times against yourself. Yeah. Not to uh, not sort of obviously harp on no, the point no, yeah, too much, no. but um, but there were there were several visits where he was sort of doing all the hard work and it still just come out a little bit smelly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he he cannon out a ball, do the hard work, and then he'd, he'd only have a plan. Yeah, I on. felt there was a couple though where he didn't need to cannon. You know, he, he play, there was one where he played a cannon, left himself a plant, but the ball that he cannoned went to the opposite bottom corner and yeah. if he played the pattern slightly different he would have avoided all of that and uh, I think sometimes when you maybe take the wrong route and you rely on a cannon it can often bite you in the bum so to speak um, definitely a part of that yeah agreed um, so but yeah you still any cannon you need a bit you need a little bit of fortune because it's very hard to play him perfectly is he cutting the red Yeah, he's not bad there. He's left himself a bit long, but this is an important shot here. He wants that cue ball next to the black. He's got cue this really nicely. He might over overplay it because the the red does go to left centre, so he could hit it harder rather than trying to be too cute with it. Yeah, he, that's what he did. It just made it a bit more difficult, but he knew he was guaranteed a shot that way. Yeah, I think you take that, don't you? Yeah, and if you hit if you hit that full ball. Now he's just going to be thinking, get the cue ball down the table. If he can get the cue ball anywhere near the break, the line, the rack line, he'd be happy. So if he comes off the top and left-hand side cushion, even if he hits the yellow, as long as he hit full ball, he'll have a shot. Oh, doesn't want to go in there, though. Yeah, anything but that. Yeah, he does not want to go in there. Because of the side he played it with, the cue ball probably just swerved away from the pot slide. He put it thin. You see the cube was sore, you can't see it from that angle somehow. But it's going to be another another one of them frames, isn't it, where he could have gone two ahead and not quite. Yeah, Luke's been almost kept in the game. Yeah, I really feel that. And that is a risky thing to yeah, do. Very, I think it, I do feel it's going to come back to bite, bite him. Because Luke's just going to get, get in his momentum at some point. Yeah, and, you, and you'd imagine that Luke can't keep playing at this level. Like yeah. he, he'll, he'll get going at yeah, some stage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and when he does, them chances are going to prove massive to Steve. Yeah, he should be sitting here for being six 0 up. Really, I know Luke missed the red in one of the frames, but that just that should have helped Steve's confidence even more. 
But Luke doesn't look 100% comfortable, does he, at the moment? So. Yeah, and it, it, could be a, it could be a combination of things. I, ju I just wonder, you know, you don't quite start well and you're not quite settled and then the table's playing a little bit funnier than usual yeah. and all the rest of it. It can just be a little bit, a little bit difficult sometimes. shot the cube going a little bit too far one way or not enough another and uh, end up with a little little last shot like this so it should be okay it's fit oh that was fake yeah a little risky but he's okay yeah. he's okay so he keeps himself in the hunt yeah, you know, he's not the biggest loop, but he gets some serious power in it. Yeah, look at that. Straight up and down the middle of the table, and he's going to get no friends again. Yeah, it sounded a bit funny, that one, though. It's uh, when it hit the top ball. Yeah, it didn't really have any sort of explosion, did it, off the, off the top ball? Luke's just giving it the eyeballs. Yeah, a <laughs> Whichever we all do, you know. Saying... Certain things in your head that uh, you can't repeat, obviously. It's a nice shot. I don't know. What's that? It was a nice shot if he held it. Didn't quite hold it though. into the red and yellow try to develop the red if he does it's when you re you want to try to get some pace into it you don't want a cue ball getting welded to the cushion or welded to the yellow but obviously with the way he's going into it it's going to be hard so he doesn't want to get the cannon without hitting the, the yellow full ball or and that w if he just hit that half ball that would have been absolutely perfect whether it opens it up for the double I don't think it doubles past the yellow I don't think it does quite but he's got a shot here to move it again. Go red bottom right, screw across into it. Needs to be careful knocking the yellow down in front of the other red. So he wants to hit the red really half ball. Doesn't want that go in front of that. I think he's okay. Yeah, that was, he just had to be careful of that yellow. And that's what I mean by them cannons you play. You know, you can know something get, could possibly happen and uh, does often sometimes. Right. Yeah, black. shot to play here. He's got all this way. Now he's got to think about the black as well. <laughs> I think the black goes bottom left. Bottom left, does it? Or oh, through that? Yeah, I think once yeah, the red goes out of the way, yeah, I think it yeah. goes. It's just about landing on it. Yeah. Of course, you could take it middle right. Yeah, it's going right centre. Off yeah. the one bottom left. That's what he's doing. So what he's doing. I don't know if it's tight though, it looks really tight. Oh, he's, he's almost dead straight in on the. Oh, is he dead straight? He's got to cue this very nicely. Yeah, can he just hold I the think, line? I think, to be honest, he's better off just trying to stun it into that yellow. Yeah, this is a bit smelly. You'd love to be directly straight yeah, on this. Or you could just cue it nice and soft, get the reaction on the cue ball. He's got a bit of angle. He's got a sort of punch into the yellow has he oh he's gone for the gap that's good oh. that's very good how tough is that shot to play on the on that yeah, table yeah, right yeah. now when when that's going cube was going towards the cushion you think it's just going to die and it, it does die quite a bit but it's just come perfectly it's slides off the slides off the Neil jaw five uh, five three and it, that's a very good last shot he's played on that red oh. thanks for coming 10-0 to Phil Harrison on an outside table. What yeah. a way to spend a couple of hours of a Friday afternoon. Yeah, cheers, Phil. <laughs> at, least, at least you get a front row seat to one yeah. of the best players in the world. That's about the only positive. Yeah, and at least I gave my player a frame. <laughs> yeah. Literally. <laughs> best part about that was, 
was that uh, was that Charlie actually looked genuinely really annoyed about it. <laughs> As if it was like, oh, is that the only frame I'm going to get is when something like that happens. Yeah, okay. I turned around and said to him at the time, so there you go, mate. <laughs> I did enjoy you having a little word with him. It was nice. Yeah. Luke is going, he's going double to play the breakout. Oh, he's going to save it. I didn't. I suppose you couldn't really play this kill shot on that shot. But no, he knows he's got to come down to deal to deal with that. It's not nice. No, ne neither are the reds. He actually, he would love to play it on that first shot, but I think just because he wasn't reds, and obviously two frames behind, it's a it's a bit risky. And that sort of probably shows Luke's mindset now that he's trying to be a little bit careful. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, he's okay. He could play the cannon now, and the cannon can work if he hits the yellow four ball, but there is a chance he could just glance off one side and not be on a ball. But there is a couple of options. He'd still have possibly the double. Or he would have a be on the ball in the middle. Yeah, look, he's looking at it. This isn't going to be that easy to judge. And there's a chance he could hit it full ball and not be on anything. Because I don't I'm sure the double would go from directly full ball. It's just underneath it. Oh, it's wow. Up, yeah. It was a risk. Wow. Oh, I think he's going to be thinking to himself, I should have played it first shot. Can I understand why he didn't? Yeah, oh, totally. But I think, I think Steve here, it might be worth him playing the snooker. Well, yeah. I mean, look how much capital he's got in the frame. Yeah. This is an unlosable frame if you're Steve Smart. Yeah, just play. Do you, you don't have to win it straight away. No, nah, the yellow, the two yellows there. Just play off one. Oh, he's, he's going for it. I think this could be a mistake here. He's going for it. Is he screwing that hand towards the middle? Yeah, I think if he just snookered behind that, played off one, snookered behind, he got it tight. Because when Luke gets out of the snooker, he could leave him on the plant to bottom. Well, I don't think it plants, but he could move that ball, you know. He could just make something a little bit easier for his next shot. And now he's forced himself to go. Yeah, I'm not... I'm yeah, not you feel like sure. he's still got a lot of work to do in this finish. Yeah, exactly. And he, and he could have let Luke do some of his work for him. You know, not saying it's guaranteed he would have been. Luke wouldn't have been going for that red near the yellow, but if he hits oh, the other red, it could have moved it. Yeah, I completely agree. And there's, there's no rules that say you've got to win a frame at the first visit. No. And with all it. of his yellows on the yeah, table there, he's that played a great it, shot. Do, yeah. I don't know if he's... Well, he could probably go Christian first at worst, but... It doesn't matter if he's played to do that. I don't think he's played to come behind it. He's tried to hit it front on, I think, but... Flick it there, but... He's come back behind it and uh can almost hear the tire squeal of that cue ball. Yeah. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> oh <man. sighs> can't get over that quite yet. Um that's alright. <laughs> But yeah, it, it, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Because it, it, he's played a very good shot there, you know, Steve yeah, Smart. But he needs another one th now. This finish is tough, and he's going to take out a tough finish. And sometimes the best players they don't make themselves take out tough finishes. No, that's right. But if he gets some fair play to him, he knows it's a good shot. Doesn't want to be beyond that black. Oh, this is again same story, isn't it? I can't help but yeah. feel we've been Jinxed ever so slightly proved right. <laughs> I thought he was going to say something nice there no. to Steve. <laughs> we had... Oh, oh. oh, oh what oh. a result. No, no not way. quite. Has he? <laughs> I think he can see he? the middle. He can see the middle one, I think. Oh, I'll get the ruler out, Jamie. Yeah. It might just be the double, yeah, you know. The double. I mean, Luke will be happy. Well, he's played the snooker with shot. But it, it just goes back to that, to that stage where Luke's got, he's got two reds, he's got a red completely tied up, and Steve's got all of his yellows in open table, apart from one, and you just think, ju Boy, just make it miserable need, for Luke. Yeah. Just don't have to win the frame straight away. He's a good enough player to do it, but why yeah. make yourself do that yeah, if you don't have to? Right. You know, it's 6-3 or 5-4, it's a huge frame, this. Yeah. Oh, he hasn't made it off the red, has he? Oh, oh wowee. Well, wowee. <laughs> oh. Team blessed, you say? Luke's not used to that. <laughs> he 
get a bit of a... Well, it doesn't mean nothing if it doesn't pot this, does it? So. Oh, you're so joking. So, yeah, that's it's all irrelevant, that is. You're joking. I, j I just... I think Luke wins this match, to be honest. I say it early, but... I just feel it. Steve just missed too many chances, has he? It feels that way. You know, you, you can easily say it should be 9-0. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's had a chance could, in every yeah, single yeah, frame. Yeah. And he's had some good chances in so and, and, you know, he has won five of them, so... Yeah, yeah. It's not like he's played badly. No, no. But there's, there's been some left out there for sure. Yeah. I'd have to get in a fluke like that. Yeah. You've just got to make that You've eight got ball. got to make the eight ball. Because then it probably... There's a good chance of it breaking the back of the match the other yeah. way. Because all of a sudden it's Luke Gilbert's head that's in the shed. Format, what's up to Robert Paul is absolutely just made for him, isn't it? You know, it's cool. He put a little bit extra into that. Yeah, he did. You rarely see Luke jump the cue ball, actually. That's a cannon normally, of a break. Yeah, he normally hits him quite flat. But he's uh, wonder if there's a little bit of frustration in this yeah, one, yeah, possibly. Yeah, because he has thumped those. Yeah, good break. And he has had a couple of sort of like I wouldn't call them exactly slug racks, but they're not quite broken up yeah, on him a little bit. So it sometimes apart, just influences your your power at least yeah. and now this is where you, you kind of feel like Luke's probably gonna you know put his foot on the gas a little bit possibly well this is where you'd expect him to yeah that's for sure yeah definitely and uh, quite a nice little pattern here to be honest what are you seeing seeing two bot two of them in the bottom right And then when he pots the, the the one bottom left after this, he's just got. To, if you get back to where he is, even he can get back to where he is, or onto the right hand side, he go up the table. It's just I just like the way you can run to corners of the table, if you know what I mean, rather than having to be very precise. You know, like all down his right hand rail, he can see the red to top right, which then links him onto the other the other two quite nicely. Yeah, well, he seems yeah. annoyed that he's yeah, a bit um, straight. I think that's the choice. He's a bit straight, but he yeah. Didn't need to get much off the cushion unless he yeah. was planning on like a I different route. I think he'd route. like to play the one in, one in the centre possibly next. Oh, he played that one. Yeah, and then it'll be top right, top left, and then come down the nice line for the black. That was really nice because there you did just see the spin just absolutely kill the cue ball yeah. off the cushion. Yeah, that's nice. That's that's the nice thing about when the cushions are new they do trap a bit but it's nice that you can play certain shots killing the, using the cushions for your advantage you know killing the cue ball slowing the white ball down such a fast table that's a you know, good skill to be able to have now we'll see if it, is he going to screw up the table or is he going to bounce it off the cushion I think the shot is possibly the screw because you, you stay in a good line for the black all the way but see how it feels he's played it there he's played it well Nicely. Are we about to go level at five all? Yeah. There's your answer. Still plenty of time left in this match. Yeah. 70 minutes start the match clock. We've still got 22 and a half left. So. So, yeah, it's. It, it's a dry break for Steve, and all of a sudden, yeah. Luke Gilbert is just sniffing a bit of momentum. Yeah, I think that last frame was fairly big. Luke getting him off the break, and another great chance for him now. I say another, he's not that many, but I mean, just a chance off of his... Uh, I mean, he's perfect. You can just stun this. Screw back maybe one, screw back a couple of inches. Doesn't have to do a great deal. And I see this going six five six very soon. Nice layout here to got not too much to do with any shot. Might put the one bottom left drift across to the top of the uh, the red underneath the black to play the play into the same pocket. Yeah. It's nice you, when you get into a certain position here, you, you're on each ball every time, so just getting back to that position. Yeah. Is, 
it actually can be in this little area for every shot and uh, he's going to go to bo bottom right for that just as I say that he changes his mind and uh, changes the pattern but This is what can uh, shows what can happen when you don't don't take them chances, isn't it? You know. Very quickly, Luke Gilbert rattles off three in a row. Has that nickname stuck? Uh, a little bit. We're a trying. Little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's somebody last week was showed us a case, a Cheddar Classics case, old leather case, really good maker case, um, and you don't see it now because they don't make them anymore, and. Uh, we were saying at the time, oh, Dom could have that as his case. He's got CC on it. <laughs> yeah, he obviously weren't impressed, but... Put imagine. a little spur on the bottom of it. Yeah. <laughs> Some tassels <laughs> along it. <laughs> I'll be your friend. <laughs> well, that very much fits that Luke Gilbert, the Buzz Lightyear to yeah. Dom Cooney's Woody. <laughs> That's perfect. That's a, ooh. Ooh, it looks. Oh, I thought when overhead oh. looks okay. Main camera. Look at the frustration Luke's just shown. Yeah, <laughs> he is not okay. No, it, I thought when he played it, it was going to be perfect because of the way he played it into the into the red, rather than just try to find the gap. But yeah, you can just see. Uh, can he just? No, he's looking down the table for an, for an option. Well, can he land? Is there a gap between uh, the? To get back the, there is not yeah. easy, is it? It's not. Is there, is there a big enough gap? There isn't between the red the and the side say cushion. Is if he, can get on, he could leave it till last because he's not going to do a lot of the cue ball to be on the black in the left centre. So it's not. If he could get on it even to screw up, screw up the right rail sort of underneath that red, it wouldn't matter if he hit the red. Mm. He'd come in front of it. Come As long as he got the gap roughly, he'd come in front of the red and he'd be on the yellow. But he's going to right, He's going to try and come across the table into the gap, I think. Oh, no, he's not. He's cut. He's yeah. Just his head just went there, didn't it? You can see he wasn't happy with how he played that. Carl Sutton and Cole Bedford watching on. Just wonder. This is a tough gap to find now. I'd say. Yeah, mm. it's not a bad line. I though. don't think it isn't. Yeah, I don't think it is that bad, is it? No. Just off the top cushion. Yeah, you can sort of. If you hit that red, you're okay on the right hand side, aren't you? If you hit the top of it. Yeah, he's gone close right. to it. Yeah, it's fine. No, oh, he's played that well, you know. Fine, yeah. How oh, well has he played that? That's lovely. Isn't it? He's on it. Lovely. Just watch your work now because don't get too excited. Yeah, he's just got to do nothing with the cue ball. <laughs> Little smirk to himself. He knows he's a. Uh, he's used the rail well there. And then the eight ball goes. Well, 7-5 leads Luke Gilbert. Last few years, end of tournament, showboats and all the rest of it <laughs> with a couple of players. It, it's not as easy as it looks. No, <laughs> it's exactly. still a table. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and it's, you know, we often say, oh, the pockets play so big. And, and they do play big because of the conditions. You know, any table would play big when you've got such good conditions. Um, but controlling the cube was really hard on that table. And it's easy and the potting can be hard because you, the way the cue ball's reacting on the cloth for your potting angles playing with side you know the slide of the of the cue ball all them little things also have a factor so it kind of makes it more difficult with it so in a way you kind of please that the pockets are a little bit more generous because uh, you know you're adapted to so many things out there and that's why some people go out there and don't matter how big the pockets are they can't pot them you know so there's plenty of people missing out there as well Nice shot from Luke. Didn't want to push too hard there. Yeah, there's no need for him. And you see, that's the difference, isn't it? That's yeah. a player who's in control, knows there's no rush to win a frame. Yeah. And, and we'll probably feel like, you know, at, at 7-5, 16 minutes to come, Luke won't sort of thrive in the 15-second shot clock, but he'll certainly have the experience advantage. Yeah, it's, it's just not going to affect him that much, is it? And uh, Kyle 
can't help but feel that Steve there just sort of just tried to take an aggressive pot on. Yeah. I mean, the yellows weren't bad because the yellow goes bottom right, the other yellow doubles. Black would go when he's doubled the yellow. And the same for the two yellows on the, on the left-hand side. So it wasn't a total sort of stab in the dark. Lou's played up nicely and he's got a good cue ball as well they're the type of shots you like to see played you know to make his his work easier he's got a couple of balls he can move the move the black ball out with as well well that's a good example of the, of the shot that I was describing you know it, it's moving yourself forward but you're not you're not rushing it lost a turn from Steve but can yeah, he hide bad. the white it's not bad I think Luke can go here you know where's he potting first shot Bottom right. Oh, can you see bottom right? Oh, yeah. He's having a look. An, uh, Might not be able to. Yeah, this is a, Steve's played a nice shot there as well. And it's uh, Luke maybe looking. Is he looking at the cut in the middle? He is. Right, well, you've got to say Steve's got himself a chance here. The plant, I'm sure the plant goes up the line. Is that an attempted pot from Luke, you think? I think it was, yeah, yeah. He's a he long, was, long way short of the cut. I think it's kind of one of them where he's maybe trying to... Pot, if he pots it, he probably pots both balls. But, I mean, the plant definitely goes. He doesn't want to probably overthink the plant. just needs to think about that the, the yellow ball he's playing onto. Yeah, he played too thick. I thought he played that thin. Bounces the yellow off the cushion slightly as well. Yeah, and you could play that much, much softer so as much, well. Yeah, so much softer. And if he hits the the front yellow half ball, he can hit it softer because the yellow's going to come away from the cushion as well. And I think that was a, that's quite. A, yeah, I want to say big mistake, but you know, I do want to say big mistake as well. You know, well, he's got options here. He could come in behind I, the red. Yeah, it's close to the eight ball. I would want to leave that red that he's playing now. Leave it there because when you get the black out, that's possibly the one that you're going to land on but he's not got many options to can he play the one in the middle almost wonder if he can you? use that to get the black out yeah he's looking at coming over and if you leave an angle here can you screw into the eight ball you got the one but yeah, up bottom this right nice. this is nice this can go nice do you want to hit the black black thick yeah like that yeah, just like okay. that. See, me, me and Lightning, we're just oh, like, it's like yeah. one mind. Oh, you are, yeah. Ooh. That's I think it. he's all right, though. He's all right. Yeah, those yeah. the nudges that you get when you've won a few in yeah, a row. Exactly, yeah. And you can't say that, you know, Steve hasn't deserved them to go against him now, really. He's They've been going for him, and he, he just didn't take advantage of it. Whereas Luke's now taking advantage of it. So okay, a yeah. ten eight and yeah. three shots no, on the fifteen good. seconds. Yeah. So I think they've probably got the match clock about right. Yeah. Good. Which will be a relief to you, I'm sure. Oh yeah. Let's see. I might not be on the match table again anyway now, so it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on if you can draw yourself another child to play in oh, round two. Oh, that's harsh. <laughs> What the <laughs> hell was that about? <laughs> <laughs> Who have you got in round two, John? Have you, have you taken a look? I, I did know, but I can't think. I think De Declan. Tom someone, Jones? Oh, did he play someone called Declan? Uh, yes. Yeah, that's, yeah that's Tom Jones think, got yeah. through in that match. Oh, so. Okay, yeah, so. so, yeah, Tom Jones. Yep. The Beatle versus the Basher. <laughs> <laughs> Luke's not happy there with that. Well, it's come out a little bit smelly, hasn't it? Yeah, will Luke start playing a bit of clock, possibly? Extension call. There's definitely an argument for it. Yeah. The only thing you would say is if he does that, I think reds are pretty presentable. Yeah, and if he does that, the amount of clock he's going to have to chew up it win him two frames anyway, won't it? He's dropped that one in. He played that almost like he didn't want to pot it. Yeah. He definitely did. Because he would have been in a lot of trouble if he hadn't, I think. But yeah, is he planning on going into the red and yellow here? He's got it. Well, he could go to the back back one and then play the plant. Yeah. Or if he can't break it out, yeah, he's gonna. he could just play the plant and come down. But then he's still got on the, on the black. and Yeah, it's not easy. 
We would have liked to have been able to play Callan here, but oh, he's not. Gonna, he's going to hold back. He needs to get a good cue ball though. He's looking to sneak in behind the other yellow. He's got one yet. Yeah. It's not bad. It's that not bad. bad. And which red does Steve go for here? Because he just doesn't want to leave Luke with an easy. He'll, he wouldn't mind him having to play the yellow down the table. Oh, he didn't, yeah, that's where he didn't want to leave it. There's a potential banana shot on that last yellow, isn't there? It's Simon Webb's favourite little trick shot on the old uh, trick shots. Banana onto the red ball. What, from the one in the bottom right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, Gilbo, don't let us down. Luke's definitely oh. got that in the locker. Yeah, boring, isn't he? <laughs> Time for that, Luke, come on. Well, he's not played the greatest of shots there. He's got to play a hell of a shot to land on this yeah, eight ball. Yeah, let me ask. He tried to move it and land on the yellow. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to flick the top of it and land on the yellow. Mm. The blessed Express comes oh to a halt. No. These are the worst times when you're playing Luke when he's snookered. <laughs> <laughs> you you're fearing the worst, you aren't you? Pick your queue up. You know, you just think, yeah, I'll wait, I'll wait it out, see what happens. So that noise you heard right there will signal the start of the 15 second shot clock after this visit to the table from Steve Smart. And to be honest, he could use the 15 seconds of shot because he needs to find a quick route back into this match. He trails by three frames. That should be I, two I think, Phil, in a minute. Rushing may actually help Steve. Because I think maybe he's overfought some of the clearances and, and not got him because of that, possibly. As I say that, he decides between three shots. <laughs> but, um, just sometimes, you know, the rushing just makes you play shots. And in turn, that, you know, you get on with it a little bit more. Mm. Especially when you're new, new to this... Uh, well, I'd be leaving this one till last, but it doesn't really matter to be honest. Huh? He's got to get on this red quite nicely to get down the table. Does he just come short? Is he Ooh, all right? I don't know. Well, it's yeah, a very, very, very thin cut. The way he went about it, I wasn't too convinced. And can he slow this down enough? I'm going up and down twice. Yeah, he's going up and down twice. He's coming near the black. Oh no. Oh he needs no. A nice kiss. That's, oh no. Yeah. I just think with four balls left, he's just took the wrong ball. Just play the snooker. a bit more on the black it's right it's right shot just not quite hard enough a bit too thin on the black just wonder if he a slightly easier shot to judge I guess when you're sort of craning over like that maybe just play the little double kiss and leave Luke Chinese yeah but then the, the black's still on the rail isn't it for the next shot sure oh, <laughs> oh. oh. he's back he's back yeah what the, the one thing I would suit. say um you know, which the great Simon Webb always says that he's had his chance and he's missed it. So he's yep. got that bit of luck, which he shouldn't have had the shot to get. Well. You know, he doesn't that bit of luck is irrelevant really because, you know, he's just had a great chance to clear up and he should have cleared up. Luke doesn't have a shot if he clears up. Well, it is all gone Pete Tong for Steve Smart. Yeah. And, you know, Steve... I don't know if he'd want to watch this match back or not. It's one of them that he probably knows the chances that he's missed. He should be. He should have been comfortably ahead. Well, Steve Smart will be wondering where that break has yeah, been all that. match. Right. This could be very, very quickly okay, run out. Don't take it. Oh, he decided reds. I thought just go reds. I, th I think reds are easy. Y yellows are the yellows are like the correct choice, but when you're trying uh, to play speed pool, you got to go reds there. I'm not you? even sure. Yeah, if they are the correct choice because as soon as he pops the first one, gets position, that they, he can't really fail. 
I suppose he's rushing, you know, it's 15 seconds, it is, it's horrible. I suppose if you think seconds. about you, your principles, you're always sort of thinking, well, we haven't got the most options, that sort of thing. Yeah, oh, definitely, but I think there's, there was so much space with the Reds. So one good first shot, get onto the red to right centre, and they're done. Hey, look, I agree, but take a look at Steve Smart. you agree, Smart, stop it then. If you agree, <laughs> stop disagreeing. But you just take a look at him <laughs> in the minute now, he's almost like a cat on a hot tin roof, he's... <laughs> tinry, he's man. jumping around. Yeah. He's he's agitated. Yeah. Uh, There's a lot going you, on. You know, it's it's easy sitting here when you're on that 15 seconds. It is horrible. You know, it, it's so horrible. You make everything difficult. You make the wrong decisions time and time again. And when you're playing well, you get away with it. But when things ain't going for you, you don't. In it goes. So nine six. This is a, a little bit sad, but... Yeah, you're among friends. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Me and Amanda sitting at home, and the amount of times that I'm watching I say something and Simon says it literally a second later. You honestly, it's not a joke, you wouldn't believe it. Me and Amanda <laughs> just like start laughing, looking at each other, and I'll say something, and she goes, it's like you're texting each other. <laughs> like, I said, no, it's just, you know, or if I, if I say something, oh, he's gone a bit too far, Simon would go, oh, he's gone a bit too far. It is honestly uncanny how much it happens. We just sit there like... Laughing, I said, yeah, I should. Uh, be. It's like Simon's here in the, <laughs> in the living room. <laughs> you kind of can't help yourself, you know, when you're watching it. Sometimes all pool players are the same. You know, yeah, watching, they yeah. Say things, and, uh, well, I remember when I was when I was younger, my uh, when watch uh, watch sort of football on, on the weekend with my dad on the TV, and he'd be chronic for if if the if he said something that the commentator would then immediately say afterwards. He'd look at me and go, see, <laughs> I was right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, now I told all, you. Yeah, now they're all like support a team like you've got Carragher, ain't you? Yeah, it's just, yeah. They're so, uh, I can't help but feel they're pretty biased a lot of the time, to be honest. Yeah, the, the, the model's changed, hasn't it? Yeah, 100%, yeah. Not the old school John Watson. <laughs> <laughs> so Luke Gilbert can wrap things up here. Final three reds are all there for him. Find this line for this red bottom left, is he? He's going to come down the left hand side. He is perfect. He might bounce off the bottom cushion here to try and get above that yellow. Because he'd like to get fairly straight on the red. Oh, he's, he's come around it. It's is a lovely it? shot. Oh, well, I he, assume it goes middle left. Yeah, he's he's fine. It's weird. I'm not convinced he played that, but <laughs> he must have done. Yeah, if he goes, he must have done. It's just the way he sort of reacted after the shot, and I thought he was going to come up, trying to come up narrow, and he's thrown wide and well, and he's landed perfect on it. So, oh, of course he has. He must have played it. Yeah. Oh, he's missed. Oh. He's missed. He's missed match ball. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Easy for you to say. <laughs> So, Steve Smart races to the table. DJ Tin Cat on his hot, on his hot tin, tin roof. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden. Yeah, this, 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 a this chance. is doable. There's no, without a golden break, it's hard, isn't it? Oh, we thought he'd miss that, I think. He did. Without the golden break, this is a, a big ask. You know, Luke just really needs a visit to the table and he's going to kill enough time to see the match off, whether he wins the frame or not. Needs a kiss. A short yeah. position. Yeah, it's very <laughs> short position, yeah. <laughs> I mean, just, I know he's rushing now, but it's kind of what's happened a lot, hasn't it? Oh, he's taking it middle. Well, he's, oh. he's not left it long. Is Gilboy just going to try and smash the black and spin the white ball? For 30 seconds. We'll just play a boring snooker. Oh, I thought he might have just knocked the black on there and put the black over the middle and snookered him. He could have played the white and black come away from the cushion at the same time, would have snookered him long and uh, left black over the middle, left the double. Shot. He's got the double, he needs it off the cushion. Uh, I tell you what, this is not all over yet. This is a smelly little shot, that, but it's got it. So, 7-9, we've got two minutes exactly left on the clock. There is still time for Steve Smart to tie this. 
Needs a ball. Needs Gets a ball. Gets a ball. How's the layout? Red's a nice plant first shot. He's got to play it. It might be plant first shot, plant second shot. Unless he tops through enough, then he can play one in the middle. He's played it softly. Red ball's in play. Oh, he's might, I thought he might have left this till last. And then top. I think he has to. Yeah, he can't. He's wired in. Yeah, just drop this in. Oh, that's Tried natural. to hold it too much and the frustration Zorro from come out. Steve Smart. I <laughs> <laughs> thought he was going to smite Luke <laughs> Gilbert <laughs> as he stood. Extension well, Luke calls his extension, does the right thing. He just needs to pot open balls here. This match is done. But a little bit of a a warning for Luke. He's, he's yeah. sort of finished this match a bit untidy. He had one stretch in the middle which which yeah. took him away, didn't it? And yeah. he played really well for about four or five frames. Took the match away from Steve Smart. But Yeah, I think Steve kind of gave him the chance though, didn't he? He just gave him that opportunity always waiting, waiting to go for Luke to sort of get his rhythm and uh, say Luke should have been out the, out the match by the time he did get his rhythm and he possibly wouldn't have got it if he uh, hadn't got the chances but you know, first time on this table arena, match clock. And that is Cer certainly didn't make yeah. no fool of himself, Steve Smart. I've been right. generally pretty impressed. Yeah. But uh, the Welsh Open champion is going to come a cropper of the Blessed Express. <laughs> oh. Just take these out to make the scoreline look a bit better. Come on, Steve. 14 Come seconds on, Steve. for... for Four reds, what do you Go reckon? On, he can do it. Have a skilly. Oh. No, he'll shake oh. his hand. <laughs> oh, I was getting excited then. So not to be for Steve Smart and Lightning Luke Gilbert right, makes a little bit of a meal of it in the end, but relief for Lightning Luke, who ousts Steve Smart.